What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Let's go and let's get it, man. I'm excited to get in this one, y'all. I'm excited to get in this one. Simple as that. Why? Because we got Podcast and Chill back up on deck, and we got our boy The Less up on deck, aka The More, man. Because when you hear his music, you need more of it. Simple as that. But let's go and let's get it, man. This was highly requested. This is some of you guys' favorite episode. I seen the clip at the beginning, man. He high, he drunk, he all the above, and this was so. This is a lit, lit, lit episode. I'm excited to get it to it. Thank you guys for requesting it. Thank you guys for being patient. But I'm ready to shut up. I'm ready to laugh. I'm ready to have some fun. Simple as that, y'all. So only thing to say is let's go and let's get it. Hope everybody having a blessed day. Get ready to have a blessed night. Simple as that. Let's go. All the way from the motherland to America. South Africa, biggest podcast. Number one podcast. Let's go and let's get it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here. God. I'm trying to do the whole sway, uh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Hyenas, hyenas. Nah, I'm a big hyena. lion. A big, big lion. Big lion thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I'm, I'm actually surprised you said nah. <laughs> that's, that's, how you, that's how you usually search it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's hard. Bro. Inda, inda, inda. Inda. Yeah. That's hard. Yeah. <laughs> I'm even surprised you know what that means. Doug, I've got that on my new album. Yeah. I swear, the second verse <laughs> it actually starts. There's a song on there called Courtroom featuring Ishmael, and my second verse says, Nda. <laughs> yeah, baby girl, I be like, why? You still try to kick me out? Yeah. Hey. Way in your feelings don't lie. Hey. Okay, let me give it one try. Hey. I was in the kitchen with Alicia, yo. Probably talking about the DCOs. Hey. Even though surrounded by freaky hoes. Yo. Believe me, you ain't never gotta leave the home. You see? So. Hey, thank you guys so much, man. Because reacting to the music don't hit nothing like these motherfuckers. Interviews, man. These interview shows they personalities, man. And these just a whole bunch of real ass niggas, man. They don't even know, man. Not only your artists is talented, they unique. No multiple multiple language. They some real ass niggas too, man. Let's go, let's get it. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, baby girl, I be like, why? You still try to kick me out? Hey. Way in your feelings don't lie. Hey. Okay, let me give it one try. Hey. I was in the kitchen with Alicia, yo. Probably talking about the DCOs. Hey. Even though I'm surrounded by freaky hoes. Yo. Believe me, you never gotta leave the home. You see? So. That's like, you can't, you can't. I am a lion from the motherland. Talk about it. I gotta make invented a, this shit, bro. I gotta make a public uh, service announcement. Mm. Uh, I've been here at your house for a long time, like an hour, two hours. Niggas getting me high, <laughs> niggas getting me drunk. So I apologize before we even start the podcast. If I'm not myself, Blame this motherfucking ass. Let's take one more pull. Just hey, so you can ease the nerves. Shout out to our leaf, though, for real. Our leaf. You can see how, look how beautiful weed is looking lately. Shout out to R Leaf. This is the plug. Make sure you follow the motherfuckers at R Leaf ZA. You know, I, I don't smoke you know, weed, you know bro. I know, but you know, I don't play with them endorsements, bro. You know, I don't play with that shit. It gets me paranoid, bro. Yeah, okay, then relax. We'll take a shot. I'm going to be like, uh, talk about my secrets. <laughs> hey, man, it's 2020, dog. Just let it all out, dog. 2020 is for the. When you start smoking weed, why does every rapper smoke Shit, weed? Bro? So I actually started smoking weed. If, if if I never if I never started smoking weed, I probably wouldn't be who I am today. For real? Yeah, that's the truth, bro. Because um, I start obviously you know my background is skateboarding, and we round of applause, hyenas! Round of applause! Make some noise! Yeah, round of applause, hyenas! God, he <laughs> so so um so my background is skateboarding and um I uh started rapping at a skate park called Four Ways Skate Park. So shout out to the Four Ways Skate Park. We started rapping in the tunnel, myself and Mungani. And the reason why we we're wow. in the tunnel, yeah, like a tunnel, like a playground tunnel, the reason why we we're in there was because we were smoking weed. Mm. So we definitely just kind of, you know, accentuated the talent or the the beast or the fire that I had inside of me. Just like I, I, I never understood why people do weed. And then I get like when you're creative and you you're high like from from the weed, yeah, yeah, you, you yeah, that music slaps, dude. You can hear everything. Yeah, you understand? Yeah, you understand? Yeah, slaps, nigga. And and I understand slaps, why. Nigga. Like worldwide, <laughs> most rappers love weed, bro. It's like where you get your juice from. Exactly, man. It's like and it's natural, bro. Do you know what I mean? I was watching your show the one time, and shout out to my man Scoop. Scoop told me some crazy. Oh, he he Scoop, said some Scoop. crazy shit about hallucinogenics. Yeah, and Scoop. Scoop, man. Hey, man. Hey, that episode was so lit, man. Yo, I apologize. I was a little tired coming off a 12 hour shift, but I, I caught everything. That, that scoop was giving us the scoop, scoop on life. No joke, man. I really enjoyed that episode. That was one of my favorites, man. Let's go.
who told me some crazy. Uh, he said some crazy shit about hallucinogenics. Yeah, and fucking LSD. mushrooms and yeah. bro, that was lit. You've never done that. No, no, no. Nah. That's just a bit too like woof for me. That's too south. Yeah, south guard. Just like yeah, no, not really south guard. It's just I mean everybody has their own thing. It's just for me, I'm too crazy as it is. Do you yeah. know what I mean? So I just like guys. Can I, I tell you something? Where's my camera? Is that one there? Yeah. Uh, when. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Back in the days, right? Because yeah. a lot of people don't know this, but I've known you since you started Josie, like 2008, yeah. 2007, bro. Yeah. That's when I first met you mm-hmm. outside YFM by the Keep Keep Shop. Yeah. You yeah, know? Shout out to my Keep Keep. I actually brought this for you. Thank it's you, like, man. I mean, I'm giving you everything that I had planned to give you like an hour later in the show. So, however you edit it, if it's natural, if it's still at the beginning of the show, then. So, you weren't meant to give me some weed? No, that was supposed to be later. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I take that. Hopefully, it fits in the dreads. Shout out to I'm a keep keep. Because you put the mark, dog. You're the first person to like. You know, it's like again, it's like you know the people that I work with. I don't, I don't ever really like to be like, oh yeah, I put you on. I did this. I just think that you know, life is all about um, cycles and and relationships, and it's all about building uh, something that's going to contribute towards something that is like life changing and iconic. So for me, South African hip hop. And the change that I wanted to bring to South African hip hop at the time, it needed to be iconic. Do you know what I mean? It needed to be like something that would last forever, the test of time. So, you know, working with I'm a keep keep, there's a bigger picture, you know? I mean, it's like our 15th anniversary. Um, I think next year, uh, planning a concert, something could be like, you know, it, 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 it's about that. You know what I mean? It's not just about like, oh, okay, how much you got? How much? All right, cool. I don't really, I don't really, I ain't even got a beard, but it's cool. Chalet can sponsor me. It's whatever. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's not my vibe. Do you know. But when you see my keep keep, because no one had seen it at the time, what makes you think, oh shit, this is gonna pop? This is gonna work? Yo, man, it's like it's it's the whole it's the whole vibe. It's the whole energy. You know, I knew that. When we, you know, I knew Josie was special, and I knew it because we had Bongani Fasi. I knew mm. it because we had Crazy Lou, and I knew it because we had Ishmael. Mm. And I just had to be me, you know. And I didn't want to be anybody else but me. That's somebody from here, the North, uh, skateboard, um, and I like to dress nice. And I think we had always, you know, during those times when we came out, like YFM was in Rosebank. In yeah, the zone. yeah. So everybody wanted to be around there, right? Yeah. Everybody wanted to be around the radio station. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, we over there, we doing our thing. I think we're going in for interviews. And like when I'm walking past the this, this stall, I'm like, yo, let me stop over here quickly. I got five minutes. Stop over there, connect. Uh, now who's, the person who's my partner now, um, but you know, the owner uh, and founder, uh, my man, Kosana, you know... We, oh, Kosana's your partner now? Yeah, Shit. bro, come on, man. It's, it, uh, like I said, it's, it's long charity things, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? So, anyway, uh, connect with Kosana... And yo, we've been best friends. I mean, it's it's it's, it's beyond it's, it's beyond a business relationship, bro. Mm. So you know, we've just been best friends for a very long time, and we've shared ideas, and you know, we've gone through ups, we've gone through downs together. So you know, we connected, and then from then on, it's a wrap. <laughs> Dude, uh, I wanted to say before you you mentioned that before uh, you said let's have a shot. But first, what is this? <laughs> this is grandeur, bro. Woo! That's my shit, my shit. Is that you? Yeah, is that's that me. you? Yeah. We're gonna talk about this. And what is this? And this is a bamboo uh, rum. Hey, now I can't remember pivot back when So was talking about. He was like, I was, I think it was the episode with So. It was one of these episodes when he was talking about. That nigga got me high and slapped where I didn't ask none of the shit I was supposed to ask. Like, that's what I'm thinking this way. He's like, hey, let's talk about this shot. The last knew what he was doing. The last knew what he was doing. He said, we gonna talk about your shit. <laughs> that's my shit, my shit. Is that you? Yeah, is is that, that you? you? We're gonna talk about this. Hey, what is this? And this is a bamboo uh, rum. XO. Yeah. It's the black one. Okay, they said I have to look at this. It's the black one. <laughs> yeah. Bamboo rum um, XO is the black one. Um, it's limited edition. Uh, it's not mine. Yeah. It belongs to Lil Wayne. Wow. Um, however, it tastes really good. Yeah. And it's a relationship that I'm building too. Um, I want to get into the alcohol space too. Nice. Uh, I'm not as brave as you are, <laughs> you. And so you were telling me, so you designed everything. Yeah, right? designed the logo. I designed the logo on Canva, bro. Do you know Canva? On what? Canva. It's a website. <laughs> on Five Canva. minutes. On Canva. Canva. Yeah. Design okay, so you got... you, But, bro, you've been had mad skills, though. Anyone knows, you know. Like, if you've been on Canva, 
It's so simple, but for how you can just anybody, you got a vision, you got a purpose, you got an idea. Bring that shit to reality. That this is just so special, man. He said I did it on Canvas, so he basically got on Canvas, drew it up, and brought that shit to reality. That's the, this I fuck with podcasting, chill. I fuck with magic because this is what it's all about: laying bricks, man, ideas, and bringing that shit into reality. I love this. I mean, it's fucking yeah. Okay, okay, so you got you, but bro, you've been had mad skills though. I mean, <laughs> I mean, there's nobody like this is the whole point of this interview. I think is just for us to really let people know that your 10 million hours is very important. Mm. You know, even when you get into the game, that's mm. actually when your hours begin, mm. and you need to do your 10 years. Mm. That's what it is. That's that's just the basic standard degree. It's your testament of that. Exactly. So I don't expect, you know, anything less than this. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. This is what I expect from you. Because you've been, you've been, we've been together. We grew up in this shit together. So everybody go support this, Grandia. And he designed it on Canva. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck is Canva? <laughs> what the fuck is Canva? And then, yeah. And then you come to me. I'm still coming. Yeah, so you can see bamboo rum. Uh, rum is also coming in strong, just like gin. Mm. Um, unfortunately, vodka. Yeah, ish. but ah, they're doing their thing. Mm. But bam, rum is coming in, just like gin. Mm. And uh, hopefully, they could they could they could put me under their wing and, and teach me a few things, and I come up with my own grandeur. Cool. Let's you have know, a shot. So, what are we having a shot of? Uh, you have of grand gel, I'll have of this. Nice. Right, this nice, nice, ah, nice, nice. Ah, fuck, nice, Liz, nice, you're getting nice, me nice, fucked, nice. bro. Hey, man, I just, if, listen, if you're coming into my studio, bro, <laughs> this is the only way I can get you. I already, I already had uh, some Woo! weed, which I never do, bro. And it's going in hard, my right, nigga. Cool, let's do this shit. It's going hard. Hey, make sure everybody get DCT, too. Listen, I'm not endorsed by DCT. But this shit's good. <laughs> There's so much uh, branding around you, bro. Dog, fuck, man. It is what it dog is. is there. <laughs> yeah, that's my dog. Don't touch that dog. Anybody who knows my dog will get What are you toasting to? We're toasting to another 10 more years. One time. I'm so proud of you. This is great. Mm. Mm. All right, cool. Let's Woo! talk about, let's talk about where it all starts, bro. Were you born in, 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 in USA? Yeah, I was born in America. So okay. you were born in Washington? I was born in Washington, D.C. And then um, my parents decided to move, or my dad had other business in Dallas, Texas. And I grew up in Dallas, Texas. Oh, As shit. far as I like, I remember like my child, like when I remember America, I remember like Dallas, Texas. I remember like my eighth birthday, my next door neighbor, you know, some of my friends. I remember what was going on at the time. So during the time, I was like Michael Jackson performing at the Super Bowl. I was overly obsessed with Michael Jackson. Eddie Murphy, Beverly Hills Cop type vibes. Um, you know, the 90s term. I would say the less is like, in it, the less is definitely in his 30s. The two, mm-hmm. um, MC Hammer, Vanilla Ice, so Dallas Cowboys. So those are like the real kind of like culture impacts that I do remember taking from, from America and then coming to South Africa. And when do you come to Jesus. USA? Huh? When do you come to SA? What age? So I come to SA at the age, like I said, I had my eighth birthday. Mm. So we left right after my eighth birthday. That that same year, I came when I was eight. I landed in South Africa like at around in October. I even remember October thirty first, Halloween. I was like, damn, I can't even celebrate Halloween. Yeah. I didn't even know where we were going. I was like, yo. I even thought, like, in my head, I'm thinking, like, yo, this my Halloween is lit. I'm on a plane. <laughs> when I land, it's like, we're probably, like, landing in Disney World. <laughs> I was like, yo, this is lit. We're on a plane? Yeah. My Halloween is lit. Yeah. You know? I think I was even, like, I was being so, like, crazy, naughty on the plane. I was, like, I think I was saying, I, was, I think I was trick-or-treating on the plane, bro. Wow. Just going up and down the house. Like yeah. Speedy Gonzalez. So, anyway... Um, long story short, yeah, we land you know, about eight years old, um, sneak in the last two terms of school. It's crazy that he grew up in the United States. We never knew this, man. The, like, so thank y'all for the assist, for real, for real. One of the terms that Bishop Baven and Bedford View, um, I was quite excited about that because it had basketball. Mm. And, you know, coming from the States, I'm like, yeah, basketball, well. Mm. And then went to... Then I think end of that year off at a school called uh, Brian Evan Primary, mm. which is actually the school that my daughter goes to. Wow. Which is crazy. Full circle. Right? It was like, what? 
dog. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and then to there, yeah, and then went to uh, Brian Evan Primary, and then after Brian Evan Primary, went to uh, Crawford Lone Hill for about a year. Very north type vibes. Fucked out over there. Then they sent me and shipped me back to Bishop Avon, which is in the east. And yeah. then I did Bishop Avon in the east, and then, yeah, so. And then when do you guys decide, okay, cool, finally we're going to live in SA, you know? Forget about like, America. Like, just us as a family. Yeah. So I think, you know, my dad was um, extremely uh, blessed with the opportunities to just travel the world and work for different, like, IT companies and, 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 and things like that, and telephonic companies. So one of the companies that he started working for in America was AT&T. Mm. And then when he landed here, he was working for um, a company which is now called Transnet, but it was called Sportnet before. Mm. And then he was uh, fortunate enough we were fortunate enough to be a part of like the beginning stages of Vodacom yeah so in the 94 95 my dad had a cell phone we had you know what I mean it was yeah. like lick actually not even 94 95 93 because okay. uh, I think it was Jackie Mufi King who won uh, Miss SA right mm. yeah you wouldn't know because you weren't checking like that so <laughs> Jackie, no, that's like when, and, and my dad was uh, Vodacom uh, had sponsored that uh, pageant for that year, and my dad took pictures with her. And it's actually quite creepy now that I think about it. Shit, man! The fuck, pops. But my thing, my <laughs> thing is, dog. Like with all this, um, what do you call it? We can call it uh, um, privilege. Mm. Or oh, I decide to go into hip hop, dog. Like, why the fuck? So, shit. I know. Fuck. It's crazy. So, um, growing up as a kid. Uh, skateboarding really took a really big part of my life and it still does and it's uh, something that I just really fell in love with and just you know I think I think the whole base behind being a skateboarder is always uh, finding a, a place of belonging to 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 something or to or to someone and uh, I found that in skateboarding you know if you look at skateboarders skateboarders are always like a crew mm. they're always moving together um, it's got nothing to do with like girls or, or anything. Unfortunately, the entertainment industry has a lot to do with, mm. or got to do with money, oh. or got to do with backstabbing. Yeah. Just got to do with you, your skateboard, and your homie. You know, so I fell in love with that and um, um, started skateboarding, started skateboarding, started skateboarding, and through skateboarding, I met Bongani Fasi, and um, from then on, he was like pretty much obsessed with my skateboarding and I was pretty much obsessed with his talent. Wow. And it was like such a fair exchange. You know, he would be like, yo, let's skate. Hey, y'all, I think it's unique that he um, enjoys skateboarding, but he also teaming up with Lil Wayne, like that's Lil Wayne liquor. Like I could tell he really look up to Lil Wayne because he big on skateboard. But hey. And then I'll be like, yeah, that's dope. But do that beatbox thing that you did just now. That shit was crazy. And then because I used to also play the drums a little bit for school. And he would come to my crib and he'd play the drums so well. Like his talent was just unbelievable. Like oozing with like talent. So I was super obsessed with that. And he was like dope, like obsessed with my skateboarding. And I think it was for his 18th birthday. His mom uh, built a studio for him. Shit. And he's like, yo, it's finally happening we got to get in the studio, you know? But even before that, at the skate park, uh, we used to rap and like crowds and crowds of people used to be like all around the skate park listening to us in this tunnel where I told you about where we used to smoke weed. So from the skate park, um, he was like, it's finally happening. I got a studio, went in the studio and the rest is history, bro. Literally. Fuck that day. Yeah. <laughs> and then mm. where does Ishmael come into this, bro? So Bongani and I, so we so so then it goes like this. Bongani and I, we got the um, so we're best friends. Um, okay, the skating is fading away. Yeah, obviously. Because <laughs> now we're like, getting Whoa, older. Yeah. we've got a studio. Yeah, yeah. Let's be serious. All right? <laughs> so we're like, yo, let's be serious. We're going in, and he's just making these crazy beats back. Like it's so crazy. I cannot believe it. Like 
then he's making these beats. We're making these songs. We're making a gazillion songs. Because he's sleeping, eating, drinking in the studio. Then, boom, unfortunately, his mother passes away. When his mother passes away, puts him in a position of, well, this music thing's not for fun anymore. Who's going to take this serious with me? Because now I actually have nobody. I have to really use what I have to, I have to utilize what I got to utilize. And without like speaking on his mom's death for too long and stuff like that, I don't want to disrespect anybody or disrespect the family, but like that was really like the life changer. That was really like where we were like, okay, is this for fun or is this? We decided, yo, let's do it. You know, I also decided because I was, I think I just finished school and I was planning on going to the States to go and like, you know, college, that type of vibe. It's cool. I'm with you. Super best friend vibes. I got you. I'm riding with you. Then um, we uh, we were like, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? And I swear to you, <laughs> and it's not because I'm fucked off the grandeur by that shit. <laughs> or fucked off the bamboo. <laughs> I swear, literally, like, dude, like a knight in shining armor, bro. Because Bongs had this long driveway. And we we're just, just making things like, just things were just going through. Fucking large stir. Walks up the driveway. I'll never forget with his head that I was just walking up. This big head. We're like, who the fuck is this coming up? Like, because we're also like stoned with kids. We're thinking, like, who the fuck's running up on us in this driveway? Look at this shit. And we're like, pow, 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 pow. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 no, nah, I'm fucking with you. <laughs> I was like, pow, fuck it, pow. <laughs> no, and then so we're like, yo. Then it's Lawrence. He introduced himself to to us, and then um, we're like, oh, sick. Okay, cool. And the reason why he came to visit us uh, was because of Ready D. I'll always give shout out to Ready D. If it wasn't for Ready D, there wouldn't be me. I swear to God, because oh. Ready D in the in the a thing called the two on two B boy competition. We went to go and perform our new songs. Remember I told you we're in the studio and we're just making these new songs. And this was before. This is when uh, Brenda was alive. Mm. And we decided, let's go test these songs out at the two-on-two -two, uh, breakdance competition. And we went there and Ready D was DJing. And he saw us and he told Lance. And Lance hunted us down. He found us, literally. So once he found us, took us, get her off studios. Yo, we met Morafe. They were also just up and coming, doing their thing. Um, met Zola, we met like uh, Ishmael, oh. we met Papa Putsi, um, all these people, bro. Yeah. You know the roster at that mm. time, mm. and we're like, whoa, like now we like we're on, like, big time. Yeah, now we're in the big time, and uh, we just started working. We just started working. We just started working. We couldn't find our sound, you wow. know, be and we we're making hot music, but it was very like. American, mm. you know, I'll be honest, it was very American. Obviously, because I, like, I'm rapping, I'm also just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we just got like, going with the trends. There's just so many different styles. And like, we're just doing as much as we can, just trying to just find our sound. We couldn't find our sound, we couldn't find our sound. And the crazy story, I never told anybody the story, is um, it came to a point where my parents were like, yo, this music, this music thing's a dub. Oh. Um, you got to go to the States. And um, I was like, all right, cool. Whatever, I guess. I, you know, now I got to part ways with my best friend. It's very dramatic. Oh. Of course, it sucks. And then we, you know, hop on a plane. I go to the states, and then I go and <laughs> I become like a normal civilian. <laughs> yeah, it's so it's such, this is such a bad story, but yeah. I can tell you, yeah. dog. I, I went. I got this job. I went and I hunted this job. I was lying on my CV, oh. looking for job jobs at Foot Locker. I was lying, but I was saying, nah, no, my CV said Edgar's. Oh. And I, yo, bro, what's Edgar's? What's Edgar's? I was like, yo, it's hard. It's a retail store. It's so hard. It's like Macy's. It's, <laughs> it's literally like Macy's. Um, and they're like, oh, okay, okay, okay. So I was lying. Yeah. And eventually I bet. Because I, I was thinking like, what kind of job am I going to get now, you know? Mm. So I'm like, damn, I want to do this job. So then it's like, you know what? Since I love music, let me put myself in music. Let me either go to a music store or like a CD shop. I was like, sick. <laughs> this is one CD store <laughs> called Cactus Music and Video. I wonder if it's still open. If it's still open, you guys are legends. I love you guys. It was such a, it was like Cactus Music and Video. It was a CD store. It was a video shop. 
in one. Yeah. And um, I I'm survived. home. Yeah, like, no, it was I'm, I'm home. I used to work my ass off. <laughs> the CDs, I had to put them in alphabetical order. <laughs> it was so <laughs> shit. And, let's, and there's this one guy, there's one manager who was the biggest dick. His name was Tommy. Yeah. He was like a rocker. You know, because it's Texas, you know, yeah. so he came in all goth, black hair. He was a rocker, Tommy. <laughs> and he would be like, and there was an intercom for the whole, sh- for the whole story. He would be like, he'd be like, yo, if I'm t- if, like, let's say you and I are talking because it was a guy I was connected with, like you and I were just chilling, we're like, yo, man, this weekend was so lit. I went to this club, no, 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 no. You just say on the thing, Leslie, Leslie, Leslie to stu- Leslie to to audio, Leslie to audio, and we both and me, you and I both know we don't want to go to audio. You know why? Because video is nice. In the video section, you sit there, you watch videos. You watch movies, dog. Just sit there, watch movies, press rewind. Oh, thank, thank you so much. Take it easy. Have a good day. Audio. Dog, alphabetical order. Rock, Metallica, ACDC. Tommy, where does ACDC go? No, it's in, it's in the C's. Isn't it A? It's fucking so stupid, dude. <laughs> so I hated my life. Okay, working normally. Okay, cat this music video. And I always told this motherfucker, I said, Tommy, you don't understand, I'm about to be big time. <laughs> then I was still speaking to Bongani and Lance on Hotmail. Guys, come save me, come save me, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. Then one day I realized, yo, I actually have a return ticket back home. <clears throat> and I'm like, what? Fuck. Because I was looking at my shit and I had a return ticket back home. Like, so I told him, I said, guys, I'm actually going to book my ticket now because I realized that my parents sent me to my brothers in America yeah. um, with a return. Mm. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> I book it. I fly back. One man, bro. I didn't tell nobody. I didn't even know where I was going to live, dude. I was <laughs> like, yo, this is lit. Hey, this is wild. So I was like, wow. Because, you know, they didn't want the music. They said it was done. It's yeah. a dub. You tried the whole year. You're not making it. It's over. Yo, as I walk out of the... When I land... Out of maybe a sea of people, dog. I just saw my mother, dog. Wow. But now I'm holding it together because we're fighting. Mm. So I don't know if this is, is this, if this is a peace treaty mm. or, or we're fighting. Going on? Yeah, so I just still keep a mean mug. It's hip hop, you know. Mm. Keep a mean mug. I'm pushing my shit, nigga. I'm a grown ass man. Ain't nobody gonna hold me down. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna talk about grown ass man. Came here on my own accord. Ah, then she came through. Said, Nah, if you want to do this, it's all you. Like, we support you. We love you. You know. And then went. And then from then on, I dropped my bags off. Then I went to the studio. When I went to the studio, Bongani was working on uh, what's with the attitude. I was like. I was like, I'm like, man, this guy's just elevated his sound so crazy. Because the sound before that we were working on was like, it was trap, you know, we we're like just trapping. And then I'd also, we had also seen, because even before I left, we we had like met Crazy Lou. And and then I'd seen that when I was there the whole time, Crazy Lou kind of like filled up my spot, you know, filled up that void for bongs, you know. So he never felt like he lost his best friend too, you know what I mean? He was also in the studio with him, riding with him all night. So I felt like, okay, cool. They built like a dope relationship. And dog, when they start playing me that, I'm like, yo, I was like, this is it, bro. I was like, this is it. This is the sound. We finally, this is it. This is it. Then I just hear Ishmael, watch me that. Watch me that too. What's it? What's it? Why you gotta be rude? I jumped on that record. Then we did, the next day we did another record from the 011. And the next day we did. Rock with you, and then the next, and then after the third one, guess who came in with the master plan? Lance, as always. Said, Y'all gotta become a group. Hmm. Y'all just doing way too much. So obviously, I was like, Nah, Bombs, you can't be a group. But you know, dog, I mean, no disrespect to Ish, but hey, dog. Yeah. We must, even though this is, because cause we, because our dream is always to break in the state, you know what? <laughs> so it's like, nah, but also this African shit, dog. You, it's all, it's going to pause. Get the crunk. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get turned, nigga. Pimp juice. Yeah. Let's get turned. And they said they don't understand. Let's get turned. Pimp juice. He said, I'm trying to act like the States. <laughs> so it's like, nah, but also this African shit, dog. You, it's all, it's going to pause. Get the crunk. Yeah. Get turned, nigga. <laughs> Pimp juice. Yeah. And they said they don't understand. And, uh, I'm like, nah, nah, nah. Bones is like, nah, let's, you know. It's just for I was like, okay, fine, you're right. But let's never forget our stuff on the site. <laughs> Yeah, but let's never forget our stuff on the side. <laughs> like, hey, we made our stuff 
on this. That's how LES got born. Because they're making us stop on the side. side. Yeah. <laughs> and he was also like, yeah, less. That's how I, that's how I actually got birthed. Because we were busy making LES on the side. Because you didn't want, dog. Lance is like, guys, yeah, more African. Like, ah, yeah, no, no. It's not a Kuna Matata, dog. Relax. <laughs> Dog, I'm like, yo, we're international, dog. I just got, I just got back from the states, bro. <laughs> they don't want this, dog. This is what they want. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. I'm giving you the full story. <laughs> so I, it goes cool. He comes, no matter playing with a group, we're like, all right, cool, do it on the side. I right, then. Ish, I won't lie, you know me and the OG, I love Ish so much. He, he came up with the name Josie. Mm. And then I started feeling like, oh shit, actually is right, dog, you know? That's dope, you know what I mean? Like, a group named after the city, do you know mm. what I mean? Like, yeah, let's fucking hold the city down. And then... I made a pivot, man. I, I always had an honor, man. Just thank y'all for just allowing me to chill with y'all and watch these interviews, man, because it's just dope. It's just the throwbacks, man. If you ain't check out the throwbacks I did with the group, man, make sure you go check them out. Simple as that, man. It's crazy, man, how it's all adding up, how it all makes sense, man. And the less ass over here just looking young as shit, man. That's what's just throwing me off, man. And it's just crazy. But let's go and let's get it. Um, yeah, then the, the rest is literally history. And um, we went on the, we, we dropped Watch It The Attitude, exploded. Um, I'm a Keep Keep Stuff, exploded. Then we did Motherland, exploded. Bangers. Oh, no, then we lost Lou, you know, groups. Always oh, funny. Mm -hmm. But you know what is the funniest thing? Before we lost Lou, we, we we had dropped those songs without having an album, mm. and that was a nightmare, dog. Because Lance tried to try to try to really put us into this album, and we were on fire, bro. We were mm. tours, real rock star life, mm. like, dog. Mm. Girls, mm. Like, rock star. like rock star. You know how it was yeah, back in those yeah, days, yeah, yeah. like full rock star, like. Bro, like not sleeping, just all over. We didn't even, we forgot, we became famous. We literally just became famous. And we on MySpace, we lit, dog. Yo, TV, everything is just going bananas. And he was My just like, you know what, okay, so you guys don't want to finish the album, it's fine, I'll get you. You know what he did? He he he, he picked me up. I was also wondering, like, that was, what is, what is picking me up? Ugh, anyway, you never know, dog. Maybe it was around the corner. Picked oh. me up, let me go. I was like, yo, where are we going? I was like, no, we're going to the studio. I was like, all right, cool. Go to the studio. He says, yeah, come on, he wants to show us something. So I'm thinking like, yo, this is it. You know mm. what I mean? He, he's taking us. We're definitely going to get a check. I was even saying at the back, like, yo, we're definitely getting a check. Or we're getting a car. Or, uh, or something's, about to, something's about to pop off. Yeah, yeah. We, we've done something. Yeah. We, we're about to get something. <laughs> we drive, we drive, we drive, we drive, we drive, we drive. Yeah, thought we drive for like three hours. Go into the bush, dirt road. Bro, he took us literally like on a boot camp to finish the album. He took us to a friend of his, his who had a house that had a studio, and he he left us there, bro. He wow. left us there for two weeks. There was wow. no signal, none of that. There was a studio. He's like, you guys are gonna finish the album. I've had enough of this shit. Finish, and we finished the album. And what album was that? Weeks. The Motherland Crunk, Josie, the Motherland Crunk. And then from then on, it was the rest is history. You know, I I after that came Fresh to Death. And then so forth, so forth, so forth, so forth, so forth. When last so have you forth. spoken to Bonks? Shit, that's a crazy ass question. I mean, uh, the last time we spoke, I, I have to say it was when Crazy Lou died, you know. Oh. But we never spoke, we just, we just spoke on WhatsApp. What was the tension between you guys? Because, you know, with groups, there's so many facets mm. and so many players. Yeah, you know, it's like, it's, it's, it's tough because, you know, like I said, you know, I'd come from a skating background and... I really felt under the wing of bongs, you know, and I really felt like, you know, the music thing, let me just go. And I, I threw myself into the music thing. And, and, you know, we had breakups. I mean, bongs left because he he felt that the label was screwing us. Oh, yeah. And I was, I, I decided to stay mm. because I was saying, you probably are right. Maybe the label is screwing it's us, famous, yeah. but let's finish the contract. You yeah. know what I mean? Let's, we're not in jail, dog. We're not going to be here forever. Because you're a man of your own. Yeah, dog. We don't have to like fight like and like embarrass ourselves. Let's just keep the thing going. Mm. People love us. Let's make money. Mm. And then when the contract is done, it's, it's a wrap. So I think, you know, that broke his heart. He felt because, you know, hey, well, this is from my, my perspective. Maybe there's a whole different perspective that I don't know about. That he may, he felt like maybe I may have broken his heart by choosing to stay with the label. And mm. I should have been riding with him because... And it's friendship know, and business. It's friendship and business. So 
I decided to stay. I just, I thought what he friendship and business they never mix, man. For real, he just had to handle with business. He's on the be a man of his word. Finish too. He's like, hey, bro, this shit ain't my time. Let's just get it done for a few years. Doing this which was a business thing. It was a business decision. Um, there was a it was a, a very toxic environment that he was in. He was very influenced, you know, in a in a toxic place, which I wasn't in. I I, I felt I had the clear head, mm. and I and I did that, and I and I carried on going, and then my pain started to to occur where it comes like damn bro this guy brought me into this shit mm. now this guy's also not really listening yeah. to me hey. and like i mean how could he do this to me because when he left a lot of pressure was on me yeah. do you know i mean ish is an og mm. and thank god for him like i always had somebody to kind of like lean on but mm. you know i was still like the young fresh person that was attracting <laughs> was part of the guys, the, the people that were attracting all the young fans. And your boy's not there. Yeah, he's gone. And, and the thing is like, I don't know, I don't know, let me try and... And he's the only person that I made music it's with. It's a new country, bro. Bro, and he's the only person that I made music with. No one from else. From the beginning. I never made music with other producers and stuff. So I had to like, start making music with other producers. Then he, like, I didn't know what I was doing. And then I, I, I found my feet and I, and I, and I did, you know, I just did my thing. Do you know what I mean? I just carried on. I stayed positive like I am today. And I, and I, and I just, right. I weathered through the storm and, and here we are today. Yeah. How do you find your feet in all that mess, bro? Man, hey, he already said it, Mac. He carried on to stay positive. That's the free game. I was just going to pivot on, man. You got to carry on and stay positive no matter what happened in life, no matter what you're going through, no matter what changes, man. Carry on and always remain positive and prayed up. Weather through the storm and, and here we are today. How do you find your feet in all that mess, bro? Dog, you just got to just believe in yourself, dog. You know, you just got to believe in that, like, you know what you're doing, like, you can't let any negative energy that's coming your way. When did you know, like, I got the shit? Because you know why I'm asking this, right? I feel like uh, you, as the LES, you walked so that Nasty C and all these guys can mm. can run, you know? Because, mm. like, the American sound, American lifestyle now is hot. Yeah, don't take any more of this. This shit's going to fuck you up. Don't yeah, no, no, no. That shit. I'm just going to have a drink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, yo. Yeah, we it's worked. lit, it's lit. We worked. It's lit. It's lit. It's oh, lit. I thought I told you how the sauce. <laughs> it's that. Yo, China, I thought you told me to the water. Hey, boy. <laughs> yeah, so you saying, when did I realize? Mm. I think it, it, it didn't, I, I, like, I have to be honest with you, bro, and it's because I love your show. I didn't realize it myself. You know? Fuck. It took a lot of people to, to make me realize. And a lot of people were like, yo, you're the shit. So what happened was, I mean, We On Fire came out, blew um, out the water, tippy toes, all of that stuff. And then there was still like Josie running parallel to that and World Cup, all of that stuff. And, um, you know, it was just like from like, tw like 2011 until I went to the Tropical Island of Treasure and I met Keenan. Mm. And... Yeah, between those times, I was doing all types of crazy shit, dog. Mm. I was like making money. I was DJing. I was throwing my parties. <laughs> like I got into the party space, you know. The old was. You That's... never invited me, but nah, man, relax. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it when that shit happens. Yeah, it does. It does. Let's do it. I mean, dog. Those were lit. You know, bro. it's like, uh, why you put me in a position like that? Dog? Yeah. Like, yeah. Ah, but Liz, I was like, yo, you changed your email. <laughs> <laughs> Always switching up for niggas. Yo, check your email. You changed your shit. You changed it. <laughs> so anyway, I got you, dog. Don't worry about that. This is more than a lot. So I was throwing parties, all right, and um, Keenan... When we went to Jamaica, Keenan was really just like, yo, why aren't you making any music? I was like, man, I'll get to making music. Like, for now, we're in Jamaica, dog. Let's just get fucked up. You know what I mean? That type of vibe. And he's like, nah, dog, you really got to come back. Like, you got to make music. Why aren't you making music? And I was like, fuck, why aren't I making music? How big is Keenan really? at this time? He's already, like, released uh, Je he Jealousy. Mm. Um, he just dropped Jealousy, literally. So he's exploding, right? He's a big deal. Yeah, he's big. And I'm like, whoa, shit. I actually... Knew. And he was like... And he was just kind of just giving me the impression or an idea of just like, nah, dog, like, bro, you you, you really, like, are important. You wow. know? And I was just like... And that's... Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> no, really, no. And that's dope. Um, AKA gave him, like, his flowers when he was here, man. Rest in peace, rest in heaven, AKA. But that's dope. He gave him his flowers. Like, hey, man, you dope. You know, we look up to you. You paved the motherfucking way for us, man. 
Like, but, the, but that's big because you guys, when you came out with that song, it didn't exist. Exactly. So, and you got so, so much backlash. That's why I got so much respect for him. And, and that's why, you know, I was like, you know, this guy really, you know, he, he, can't, he put a battery in my back, you know, literally. And then we made Control. And that was crazy. And then I won Tropical Island of Treasure. I built my studio. And then I also used some of the money for the Heaven video. Shout out to the Fort. Very fucking expensive video. But it's a hard video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and made Heaven. And then um, the rest is fucking history, bro. Dude, please take me back to the day you did We On Fire. Because that song, for me, I think, <laughs> changed again, man. I'll tell you why. Hey, Let me tell you a story. That song was actually supposed to be for Mugs, dog. My bad Mugs for that. I always feel bad for that shit. <laughs> so, so we make the song. Let me give you an idea. So Bongs makes the beat. So we, we're in the studio. We're, we're, we're busy finishing off my album. We, we're already going with like tippy toes. We're going with like a bunch of other records and we're feeling like, yo, these are going to be cool, good singles for the album. We're finishing off my album. And, and, and by that time, we're staying in the house in Melville. Bones is just making beats back to back all day, every day. All you needed to do was just show up. I'll be there every single day. We finished my, my debut album, Fresh to Death, in two weeks, literally, 14 wow. days. Just just nonstop, nonstop, nonstop. Mm. We made Amaretto on live. You know the story behind all of that. Uh, we just did just, just, just so much with, you know. And so we so Bongs is making this beat. The beat is hard. We're right into the beat. We're right into the beat. And then Bongs usually kind of like, he would usually like spearhead the record, meaning like just take on which direction it's going to go. Uh, whether he's going to, if he, he, would, he would turn around and be like, yo, Les, you first or like you know he's spearheading the whole situation he running the show and then for that for that moment he was like he like stopped the beat and he was like yo man we need to get that auto tune yeah so I don't know I was like so, so I was like yeah we definitely do need to get that auto tune huh. so I was like how can we get that auto tune so we're thinking we're sitting there thinking and during that time and I'm gonna I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna just accentuate the fact that it was that time my Thundercat was uh, a nutty. Oh. And then actually was calling me, just we just speak on every day. He was 14 years old and Anati phoned me and I knew he was working on Logic. I was like, hey, hang on, let me talk, let me call Thundercat, let me call my Thundercat. You know, you know, we're growing up now. Yeah. We don't know technology really like that. So, <laughs> let me call yo, my Thundercat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yo, Thundercat, Thundercat said, like, yo, yo, what up? I was like, yo, we need auto tune. Mm -hmm. He's like, nah. And they would put him on speakers, like, yo, do this, do that, do this, switch this. Yo, shit. Let me tell you, bro. As soon as Bongani found that auto tune, God damn, damn the nigga. And nigga took that auto tune all the way to fucking Elon Musk, nigga. Oh, <laughs> yeah. so yeah. so my man took that auto tune out of space with him. <laughs> but on that day, space we were like, what? The auto tune is so hard. And like, he, he, he killed it. And I've noticed like lately, and maybe maybe I'm just doing it in the old school way. I've noticed lately with most of the guys that I work with in the studio, most of the guys put their auto tune after. Mm. Um, we, I will, myself and whoever else, also learned how to do the auto tune live, so you're able to use your 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 vocals to tune, you know, where you want to go. And mm. he was going bananas with the dog, like, <laughs> damn, Ooh, we're like, we're, we're like, damn. See, and cool, like I said, I think my album had already been done, and we were working, and Mugs was next up. So I think the song was for Muggs, you know? Yeah. And Muggs is writing, and you know, it's dangerous when Muggs is writing in the studio, though. You are. Because <laughs> he writes quick, and he's the most potent nigga. You know, I, you know, I really miss those days. I wonder if it's like that for in other studios for the other kids coming up, like, when you know, like, yo, your man is is on, is hot. Mm, so so let, me, let me be on my A game. Let me not, let me not embarrass myself. Mm. So I know Muggs is, I can see he's lethal. He's walking around. He, I think Tito's there as well. We're like, hey, Tito, you know Mugs. Hey, Tito. <laughs> oh, so you want to check niggas' lyrics? Yo, yo, let's go. What you got? What, what you got? got? Oh, what you got? <laughs> ah, nah, nah, it's coming. It's like, shit, I wonder what he's got. So anyway, I, I don't think, I I think he went, yeah, he went first, as always. Mugs, woo, went crazy. The goons better shut up now. We're like, you get walk. And we're in there, there's no booth, so now we have to keep quiet. <laughs> After we was finished, like, yo, man, yo, man. <laughs> and I love how he just throw the throwback, man. He's like, there's no boob, so we gotta be. It went crazy at the end. Just imagine being he having a whole flashback right now, but the studios is probably crazy back then, man. There's no booth, so now we have to keep quiet. <laughs> After we was finished, like, yo, man, yo, man. <laughs> 
So and I, yo, so I'm like, hey, I'm scared. But anyway, so I came through. I did my thing, right? I killed my thing. Bong's being the musical genius. It's like, nah, let's go first. This verse is the second verse. And then, woo, you know. And then we wrote. And then the third verse, I was like, okay, Matt, relax. Let's come together. <laughs> yeah, well, I was like, Matt, please, one second. Let's communicate. Ah, the combos communicated. We went together, uh, VCRs, PVRs. We wrote it together. We practiced it together. And then uh, wow. he had me on fire. It's like, cool, that's Muggs' record. That he's coming out his first single featuring Deleuze because Deleuze, I think Tippy Toes had actually already came out. Well, Tippy Toes was coming out. Actually, Tippy Toes had come out, so there was already hype. You know, Lance being mm. exit. We on fire was a slot. It was a banger. I suppose that makes you go check that video out. That's all I wanted to say. Out. Actually, Tippy Toes had come out, so there was already hype. You know, Lance being mm. the executive uh, decision maker. Mm. Mm. And he's like, nah, he's the Lance. <laughs> it's like, he's the, he, no, Les, this is your second single. <laughs> I was like, oh, I love this dog. Muggs is going to kill me. <laughs> Don't worry, we're all together. We're all the same song. And yeah, that became my second single, which also just put me on another level. And it just put South African hip hop like on another dope fucking level like your dog if it wasn't for we on fire like there really wouldn't be a lot of shit that there is today okay. but then how do you feel when these kids don't give you the flowers that you deserve no. you know bro look at me bro what did i tell you about the sheen dog mm. the fuck i tell you about the sheen the sheen could be used for a term that's for outside of your body but my spirit has the biggest sheen of all because i'm a positive nigga dog I, 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 I don't I care it. about shit like that, dog. Do you know what I mean? Like, I care about good times. I care about double D. I care about God. I care about nigga. I just care about being happy and inspiring people. I don't I care it. about like, oh, yo, where the fuck is my props? It's like, okay, must I must go to the toilet and pull my dick out and be like, oh, my props? <laughs> my props? Ah, uh, guys. My probes, at least. <laughs> nah, dog. It's not about that, dog. You know, it's it's just literally, I just live life to the fullest. I love um, it. You know, I try not to take advantage of, of, of people. I try to be kind. I just try to be happy. I try to just think for the positive. And that's what it is, bro. And for me, it's like, I know when I get my flowers, I get my flowers at that time. But either than that, like, I know what I've done. I'm very secure in myself. Shout out to all the Leos out there, just by the way, y'all. I see y'all lying, man. Fight the good fight. Hey, Leslie. I'm killing this motherfucker, man. I can fight on this motherfucker, bitch ass. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about longevity, man. What's the secret to it, man? It's easy to have a heart record right now. Water, water, guys, water. You think so? Mind your business, water, woods, water. That's the secret. Yeah, dog. Facials, manicures, pedicures. Take care of yourself. The temple starts at home. If you want to live life long, appreciate your life. Take care of yourself. Love yourself. Take care of yourself. Because if you don't take care of yourself or love yourself, who going to do it for you? If you don't take care of yourself, who going to do it for you, man? He, man he, I don't drink pop, y'all. I don't drink pop. Strictly water. Strictly water, man. I just got lemonade, you know, but if y'all, if I'm just, I ain't gonna say I'm strictly water, but I don't drink pop, y'all. So I'm just happy about that, but it all start at home. Your temple, it start with your actions, start with the person, the man, the king, the queen, and the mirror, y'all. Let's go on, let's get it. That's the secret. Yeah, dog. Facials, manicures, pedicures. Take care of yourself. The temple starts at home. If you want to live life long, appreciate your life. Take care of yourself. Take a day. Moment of silence. If you want to live life long, appreciate your life. Appreciate yourself. Stop playing. Stop playing, dude. Let's go drop these gems on us. Long. Appreciate your life. Take care of yourself. Take a day. Meditate. Okay, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not meditating yet, but I'm getting there. But meditate. Hey, at least you be one hundred. Water. Go to the gym. You know, try eat healthy. Do you know what I mean? Take care of yourself, dog. Go as a man. Shave. Like, 
not to say everybody must be a pretty boy, but I'm saying like do things that make you happy is mm. what I'm saying. And that's where it comes from. I do things that make me happy and people can't. What makes you like, happy? What makes you happy? Oh, what, a lot of things make me happy. My daughter makes me happy. Uh, family makes me happy. Music makes me happy. People having a good time makes me happy. Just happy, being happy in general makes me happy. What makes me also makes me happy is taking care of myself. I love looking good, feeling good. Oh, I love when people also feel good. I love laughing, <laughs> laughing. Yo, bro, if you if you don't laugh, man, you guys are out of here. <laughs> Shout out to Gotti Gambino. Gotti Gambino and I laugh every single day of our lives, bro. <laughs> all the time. It's just standard. I love laughing. Like that's what like that's for me is like dog. Take care of yourself and, and live life long. I mean, okay, why? Let me ask you a question. Is it because of the money that um, the queen mm, mm. of England is still alive? Or is it because she takes care of herself? She takes care of herself. Exactly, dog. The finest manicures of Barrister Village. <laughs> the finest water. <laughs> From where, where, where? You understand? That's taking, that's like knowing, like, bro, I need nice stuff. And I'm not knocking down people who but don't. Wait, 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 Liz. Yeah. Why are you mentioning her? Do you, is it because you, no. you think you're a royalty? No, <laughs> that's hard. Of course, I do. I mean, I'm, I'm fucking. So that's the, that's the gauge that you no, are. No, it's just that, the, no, it's not that. It's just like, dog, I, I, I hold myself up high. I'm very proud of myself. I'm, I'm, I, I'm. Very confident, like I said. But I wanted to get to... Man, I, I love it. He's strongly confident. And that's how we all need to be, man. Pick your self-confidence up, man. Pick your confidence up, man. Motivate yourself, man. Self-motivation, man. Love yourself, for real. I feel the less, man. Confidence, big up, man. I love myself, man, for real. I think I'm the shit. No, I know I'm the shit. I don't think shit. I know I'm the shit. When I look in the mirror, I tell myself I'm the shit. And you tell yourself that. Suppose that every morning, each and every day, man. Up high. I'm very proud of myself. I'm, I'm, I'm very confident, like I said. But I wanted to get to my next point. I'm not knocking down people who unfortunately can't. Don't, 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 don't take what I'm saying out of context and be like, yeah, but Liz, just because you live in Branson, no, no, no. no. It starts from within. It starts from your spirit, your, your, your dreams, your ambitions. Right. If you focus a lot more on your problems, all you're going to receive is your problems. Oh. That's what I feel. Shit. If you focus on like, bro, fuck, I don't have everything. But what I have, I appreciate. Oh. Do you know what I mean? What I have, I appreciate. I'm able to laugh. I'm able to walk. Talk I'm able to do this. And my dreams are, are bigger than what I have. And if you're looking at that, I swear, like, it's the law of attraction. The, the universe will somehow work for you. So I don't want you to be like, God, oh, let's go. Taking this interview off, never less. Those Gucci shades, ah man, off. Oh, tight. No, yeah, that's that. Mm. Stay tuned because I'm trying to tell you that. Try and take your situation and make it like a positive situation, even if it's anything, bro. You know, like, and just just have faith, bro. Oh. Have faith, though. But what would you say? Positive would be good. Man, I've been telling y'all, man, stay prayed up and keep your faith up. Have a positive energy only, man. Positive thoughts only, y'all. For real, man. So much negative vibe and negative energy. You gotta be on this positive tour, y'all. Let's go. And just just have faith, bro. Yeah. Have faith, dog. But what would you say? Positive because all your life, everything has been positive. Like, no, if you don't know, my life hasn't been positive, bro. Like, you got it all, Liz. Nah, I don't have it all, dog. But I don't have it all, dog. No one has it all, dog. Not even Elon Musk has it all. No one has it all, dog. No one has it all. Because there's something that Elon Musk wants today. Oh. There's something that Jeff Bezos wants today. What did you want? Richest man in the world. What did you want? Bro, my, my, the things that I want change every single day, dog. Okay. Do you know? One moment I want, uh, there was a point I wanted all the fame. Yeah. There's a point in my life I wanted all the money. I think now I want a peace of mind. Remember I told you about yeah. the, the highest equity is a peace of mind. It's a currency. Highest currency is a peace of mind. So I think maybe I just want wow. to be content and I just want to be happy, bro. Do you know, people are, are fighting for happiness. There's people that are depressed. They're, they're, they're just fighting. They're looking and they're urging for happiness, dog. What's happiness for you? Ah oh, man, I'm happy right now, dog. DJ D Double D, Gotti Games, Pambo, Job to Japan, GT Beats, like look at the bro, Ballet, Bamboo, like, like look around, I'm appreciating baby. what I have. Madison, yeah. everything's just it just makes me happy, dog. You know, today's a wonderful day. Um, it's the day before my album drops, and um, I'm happy, dog. You know, it's like 
Is this my, is it, what number album is this, dub? Is, which one is this? We this forgot, six, bro. It's my sixth solo. Shit, man. Yeah, it's like my sixth solo. It's my 13th album if you also include Josie, include Hall of Fame. And I'm just happy, dog, that, you know, I'm, I'm happy that you got this gin. I don't I expect nothing less from you. Like I said, this is lit, dog. I'm happy, bro. I'm happy. I'm happy we on the on the podcast and chill. I remember two years ago, like, yo, Liz, I'm doing a podcast. I was like, what? A podcast? <laughs> I was like, yo, Max G, quit playing these games. I gotta go, dog. I am in traffic right now. <laughs> what? You talking about a podcast? Yo, my man, give me the cover or something, son. I got nothing but love for you, Max G, but you talking podcast? I am out. <laughs> Then my man came back two years later. I'm like, yo, I'm starting the podcast too. I'm like, I want to say shit. I'm on this shit with you, sir. How many subscribers you got? How many subscribers you got? I want to say shit. So I appreciate you making me happy. You were a visionary, dog. You told me about this shit. I'm like, hey, yo, can I have Mac G told me about a podcast. A podcast. Hey, man. What the fuck? So I was like, nah. So. I'm happy, bro. I'm, I'm just, I'm happy, dog. And 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 I've, I've, I know I've got a long road ahead of me. And I know that, like, you know, the universe, uh, my God, is gonna bless me with with more and more blessings. Man, talk and, about it. Do you think you don't get yeah. enough uh, flowers from the game right now? I don't know what are the flowers, though. You know, is it what's that? Um, <laughs> Gotti, what's that flower that is on? Uh, on my old primary schools. It's a protea flower. No, not the protea, the protea, no, the protea is lit. I would like mm. sure. Mm. It's another cack of a South African. It's another bush, another jacaran is also lit. It's another other bush flower, bras. Yeah. It's like, not a cactus. What is that flower called? No, man. But anyway, so it really all kind of like, for me, it's like, no, the sunflowers are solid. That's highly international. I'm just saying, it's like, bro, it's, it's like, what am, I, what am I, what am I looking for? What flowers am I looking for? Do you know mm. what I mean? What am I looking? What flower? What are these flowers that everybody's talking about? Mm. Because the, the the mission is nowhere near done. Nasty C is doing amazing stuff right now. Shelf. But even for him, he'll tell you. The mission's not done. Mm. So enough with this flowers, flowers, flowers stuff. Let's focus. Let's come together. Let's move forward. The marathon continue. Simple as that. That's what the less saying. He's just letting the young boy. The marathon continue. The grind ain't gonna stop. We got a lot, but I feel Mac just said, just give niggas they props. Though. Ain't no wrong with giving niggas they flowers right here though. But this flowers, flowers, flowers stuff. Let's focus. Let's come together. Let's move forward. I can't be like, ah, but guys, before we move, let's give the lessons flowers. Eh, hey, hey, nah, what flowers? Fuck flowers. Let's go. We're moving. Look what Ricky's doing in the fashion world. What the, you know, look what we're doing. We're putting any... Rest in peace to Ricky Rick. Rest in heaven, man. Damn. It's crazy, man, because you never know what people going through when they smiling and putting on good product every day, man. So stay prayed up, man. Simple as that, man. And I wish everybody the best because you don't ever know what no, anybody going through. Love y'all. Let's go. Look what Ricky's doing in the fashion world. What the f you know? Look what we're doing. We're putting energy into what the fuck we're doing. What Keenan's doing, what Cass was doing. There's no time for flowers, dude. Oh, for me. You know what I mean? Dog, give me flowers when I'm dead. Gatle, gatle. I, for real, dog. I. Give those, put the flowers on my grave. Cause right now, <laughs> dog, the mission is, it's way beyond, bro. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, dog, we, South African hip hop. And, you know, not disrespect to like Nigerians. I love all my Nigerian brothers. Like all of them, Ice Prince, Wiz, Davido, mm -hmm. and then, you know, um, shout out to Source Kid. And, and, and there's a few like uh, Nigerian rappers that like, they would come and would meet and would rap and stuff, uh, you, you, you know, but, you know, the, the night, the, what, there's unfortunately not a, a Nigerian hip hop scene, mm, you mm, know, mm. and what took over was Afrobeat, mm, mm. you know, not to say that the guys can't rap because the guys can rap. I've heard all niggas, but even Burner Boy can rap. Mm. It's just to say that nice. like nice. Africa, when it comes to hip hop, we are at least 15 years behind, bruh. Mm. We really are. And it's not because we are like, you know, we had no access. It was just 
had to do with a lot more of like like connection, like fucking internet, those type of things, you know, mm. access. Mm. Access. It was access. Um, and we're 20 years behind. So we have to catch up, dog. We have to catch up. And and I love what Nasty C is doing. I love what all these guys are doing, bro. Shane Eagle, like all this time. Hey, what do you think about shit. the whole conversation of, okay, you're Nasty C, Shane Eagle, Aries, all those guys. Uh, you know, you had to can crawl switch so they can run, you know? Yeah. Because, like, now they pushing that whole swag life, boom, 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 boom. Lifestyle. Yeah. And then you got a Questa who's, like, pushing local. Oh, I love Questa, dog. You know I what I mean? Questa's also a Leo, What's dog. Though? What a legend. Yeah. But what I do you think about West the whole West sound North. of, are you too American or too local? Yeah, so I was just saying uh, this thing today on the radio that urban urban culture in general is is always being looked at and being scrutinized uh, the most when it comes to are you too American are you too flashy or you're underground or you know and you'll never hear those conversations happening in rock music all you hear is that like so and so died of an overdose in Hollywood mm. Hills mm. oh wow Duh, everyone knew he was on drugs. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Obviously, got, that's all you really hear. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. You got but a like, point. For us, it's like, ah, yeah. But I feel like Pharrell, he could have just, he could have like, nah, Pharrell, he's he's chocking. He's, yeah, he's yeah. cap. He's cap. Yeah. yeah. He's cap. I know, nah, you know what I mean? Like, ah, this homie's too good. I know these guys are snitches. That's why they're snitching. I know. Look, music is a platform. It's a medium to express. And hip hop is the biggest platform. Why do less call for the for real cap? Man, put me on. Let me know in the comments. Like, they, they, like let me know. Let's go. And medium for us to express huh. what we're going through and what we're doing. So let's just leave it at that. And for me, I could never look at somebody and say, oh, no, this person's like this or this person's like this. Because the more people we have in our South African industry, the better. Or in our African industry the better. The game is big enough for everybody. There's a person that still loves me who's loved me 13, 15 years ago. There's a person who still loves Keenan. There's a person who still loves Casper, Shane Eagle, Nessie C, so forth, so forth, so forth, so forth, so forth, so forth. We are worrying about the wrong things. We're worrying about capturing. What should we worry about? Win it. <sighs> what should we worry about? Exposure. I mean, everybody's got their own mission. Uh, I just think if you just withhold or, 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 or keep the 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 fact that we you want to do better for African hip hop in the back of your mind, then bro, like sky's the limit, dog. You know, if you if you sit there and be like, yo, this is gonna be so lit for African hip hop, and Dude, not like it's gonna be so lit because I killed this nigga and this nigga took my bitch at sumo. What, you know what, what I mean? why, why are you so invested in Africa, dog? Because you didn't, you, you're I'm born from, I know, and it's crazy, dog. <laughs> like, I, like we, we, it's the, that's life, dog. You know, like, the, my whole time making music, all we wanted to do was to leave South Africa, huh. and all we wanted to do was like be in America. Not to say we don't. I mean, the money is. I mean, everything there is is high level. It's first level. We want to be in a first level conversation, but. As time kind of progressed, and oh. I, I like, I just fell so in love with with this place and the culture and the love that it showed me, and 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 I started to kind of just, I felt like I started to see like, yo, um, I'm actually gonna be a part of history oh. because what I'm doing is is gonna, I swear, in the next ten years, it's gonna be. It's gonna, it's gonna be on Times Square. Mm. It's gonna be on academics. It's gonna be like, whoa, do you know what I mean? It's gonna be like, it's gonna be like super lit. Like these kids are gonna be like, you know, kicking it with J. Cole, whatever, whatever. You, you know what I'm saying? It's, yeah, the gap is getting bridged. Oh, it's definitely getting bridged, y'all. Simple as that. It's like, I mean, I mean, just look at Aries alone oh. himself, his fans, his following, what he does, how he does it, his rules. Like that is the definition of hip hop. If you if you're about the art and if you love hip hop, that is hip hop. Doing what you want to do for the love, for what you love. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's what it's about. So, it, it, and I realized like, yo, if I leave, I may I may just not not be a part of this. So I decided to be a part of this, and tell Trevor Noah, yo, bro. Go kill the Daily Show, dude. You know <laughs> they wanted me first, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm just kidding. I remember what's audition for the live gig? You and I. Yeah, you came after me. Hey, I was whack. 
Because you know that time you're trying to find like, hey, dog, let me be rap and then let me be a presenter. <laughs> that shit. No, I want that. was garbage. And then what else took it? Then? Yeah, what else took it? What else. <laughs> and, uh, so what I wanted to ask you, bro, is that who did you like start fucking with to give you this inspiration? Because I think you're the first of our generation to push. To push things. Push up. Hey, push up. Yeah. Push up. Push up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, push. The lifestyle that's now celebrated, you know? Yeah. Fuck. Because that's visionary, bro. Like, you gotta make people understand at that time when you dropped. Dungo, Jama. Yeah. All my Jama. people clap your head. Nobody Jama. give a fuck. Jama. Nobody so, give a fuck, bro. No, I think it was, you know, so that's so. I think um, it was also the influence of being a skateboarder and not getting, giving a fuck about what people think about you. Uh, because if you look at the, the whole essence of skateboarding, you're, you're typically. Um, Cast it as like a as as an outcast, you know. You you're typically looked at as like no, these skaters fuck off me from here. Stop skating here. Hey, you guys are making a noise, dirty, whatever. So and we're like, nah, fuck you. We're skaters. We're gonna rule the world. Yeah. And then like so that attitude, I brought that attitude into the music industry, and I was like, yo, fuck it, dude. I don't care, dog. I don't care if it's an interview. I'm gonna wear shades, bro. Like I like these shades. These mm. shades are fresh. Mm -hmm. They make me feel good, and no one's gonna tell me anything. So I think I took that attitude from there. Um, it wasn't necessarily specifically from somebody. Uh, and I think during the time, Pharrell was also killing us. Like, actually, Pharrell maybe. Mm. Um, and just like other kind of just just influences of people around me. I felt like Crazy Lou also had an energy to, with him that, that was just like, fuck the world. I don't care what anybody says. And uh, I love that energy. I love being around that. And then Mungani's music, his the way he was making music was also very unorthodox. He was just making it there on the spot. He was doing everything, you know, his talent was just like, so I think how our whole energy was just like, yo, this is it. Fuck it. We yeah. don't care. And hey, free game. When you ready to go get what's out here for you and like when you ready to get that purpose you got, got for you, when you ready to get that purpose you got for yourself, you got to have this attitude. Fuck it. I got you. I had this type of attitude for real, for real, y'all. I was just saying, hey, this be free game, y'all. Throughout these whole podcasts, that's why I love them, y'all. Let's go, let's get it. You gotta have this mentality, y'all, for real. Excuse me. Believe in yourself, love yourself, take care of yourself. <laughs> that's so good, man. And then, like at that time when you hit your high, bro, like mm. you know, ladies want you, bro. I remember <laughs> there was a time when I met a girl at a club, like at Black Orch Black Orchard or yeah, something. Black Oak. Case. Yeah, yeah, Black Oak. Um. It's either you had smashed, mm -mm. the ribs had smashed, damn, or me. So I got the leftovers. Nah, <laughs> look, like, again, Mag G, let's take a shot. Listen, it's not leftovers. Let me tell you what it is. Mm. You were a, a, a part of an elite group <laughs> that happened to have been in the amazing presence of a beautiful young lady. Mm, mm, mm. So don't look at it in the negative. Mm. Look at it in the positive. Mm. We are the lucky ones. That happened to have been, you know, in the encounter with that lady. How many ladies were you guys hooking up with that, at that time? <laughs> it was crazy, right? Oh, man. Oh, man. I, you know, I was young, bro. I'm not yeah. going to lie. I mean, I wasn't really counting or anything like that. I was young. And, and they were like quite like spiritual encounters, bro. Spiritual? You know? Yeah. Like dope, meeting new people at that time, like exchanging energy and... I'm going to call them spiritual encounters, bro. Oh. I'm not going to be up here degrading females like that, dog. Fuck like, that dog. Let's take a shot. No, but spiritual encounters, that's Let's deep. Take a shot. Oh, Sometimes you got to go deep, bro. When you get to this age, bro, you got to dig deep. You got to like, that's what I'm like, bro. Because all I'm trying to do is just yank one out, bro. Yank what? Yank one out. Like, just come yeah. and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> So when you say spiritual gods, I'm like, what the fuck yeah. are you talking about? What, what do you have a daughter that? or a son? A son. Man. Exactly. I knew it. See, if I had a son, I'd also be talking like that. But I got a daughter, bro. What's it's the just, difference? Bro? It just changes your whole perspective. You know, it's like, let's go, bro. Let's go, let's go. Um, no, I'll take a bumble with this. Okay, want me to take a... Uh, Granger. Okay, okay. All right, let's go. Granger. Granger. What made you come up with this name? <laughs> Granger. <laughs> I was, you're like, yo, I got a gin. I was like, what's it called? Mac, Mac Gin? <laughs> <laughs> It should have been called Mac Jen, dog. Like, it was me. Like, Yo, Mac Jen. But anyway, we're doing Mac Jen flavor. Cheers. So you say, because you got a daughter. How's it different? It just changes your whole outlook in life. Like, you just want to do better. You want to become a better person for your daughter. 
I feel like when you have a son, you do want to become a better person, but you also just like, well, fuck, as long as I make money, mm, mm. the little homie going to be all right. <laughs> yeah, I still make sure that he got a fresh fake. Are we? Hey, but this is 90% of nigga mentalities right here. For real, most of my homies that got daughters, their mindset changed, switch. And like, hey, when I had my daughter, like, I just, but when I had my son, I was still wilding. So it's just dope. Um, I don't, it's just, I don't know if I want to, I do want to experience that, so I don't know. But I think that's dope and unique how that just happens like that. Like, that's just funny, though. Like, we can relate, y'all. We can relate. But let's go. So you say, because you got a daughter, how's it different? It just changes your whole outlook in life. Like, you just want to do better. You want to become a better person for your daughter. I feel like when you have a son, you do want to become a better person, but you also just like, well, fuck, as long as I make money, mm, mm. the little homie going to be all right. Yeah. I just got to make sure that he got a fresh fade. And he doesn't get, and he doesn't but stutter or something the, weird like that, you know? <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Like, what more you got to do? I was saying, if I had a son, my son would be taking Ubers from when he was five. Yeah. I swear to God, dog. I would never be picking up. I said, what? Uber, bro. But when you have a daughter, does it remind you of what you used to do to females when you were I young? never, you, what are you talking about? No, I'm just what saying. What is the matter with you? What is the show about? <laughs> no. My album is <laughs> coming out show? today. <laughs> My, no, I'm, I'm just saying. What are you talking about? Leslie, I'm just saying. Like, we never told you, like, do anything. shit. Actually, hey, why is it that, that like, oh, movie? yeah, you should do this to females? Whatever females you do to me. Mm. Yeah, boy? Hey, your yeah, boy? Exactly. And you had a lot of females back then, bro. Mm. Man, hey, look. doggy. Like, we, I never knew there were South African models until the Les was in the scene. We were living I'm like, like, shit, we got models? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. But look, I'm not gonna lie, we were living like. We're living like that hip hop, that lifestyle, bro. We're living rock star lives. We didn't even care. We didn't even like know of like when our next gig was, you know what I mean? And we carry that on for quite a while. And, you know, you grow up and you, you, you mature and you decide, listen, this is what I want my life to be about now. I don't want my life to be about what it was because that was fun. That was epic. But you can't keep trying to remake the same things over and over again. You'll just end up in a spiral. Do you think when you try to remake it's like when Josie's not hot and when you're like trying to live that life again, bro? I don't know. Like a lot of people will say to me at times like, yo, um, please, can we have a reunion? Can we have this? Can we have that? And I'm a firm believer of letting things just be organic and just letting things happen, you know. And, and for now, I just don't think now is the time. But I'm sure, you know, we could we could do something. Um, but my album, um, Caution to the Wind, yeah. which I never told you the name of it has got Ishmael on it. And the last time I did a song with Ishmael was uh, 10 years ago. And I swear when Ishmael came into the studio and he, um, he we, we did the record, it's called uh, Courtroom. Oh. It was like we had made a song yesterday. Wow. Yeah. I want to find out, yo, y'all can see the, all this shit over here? I just want to make a little, okay, cool. Y'all can't see what happened. <laughs> no, I'm just making sure. So was like, what the, f yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And people were like, yeah, I see, like, I see, and yes, he's smooth and all, but what's that shit on his leg? <laughs> so, no. All right, we're going to play a game called Smash or Pass, right? Wait, what the fuck? What podcast is this? <laughs> Are we not speaking about music? <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> fuck you, you. I should have told you two years ago. <laughs> I fucking knew it, man. I know my spirit, dog. I knew he said, oh, I'm doing a podcast. I knew something was fucking fishy. <laughs> Smash or Pass? <laughs> ah, man, what is this? No, man. Let's talk something. Thing. Caution to the wind. <laughs> Double T, what the fuck is this stuff? <laughs> hey, man, now. Special pause. Special pause. Okay, hey, pause. Hey. All of them. Yeah. All right, look. So, Double T, what are we going to do, right? Pause. If he, if he wants to pause, he's going to take a shot. Is that good? Oh, my God. All right, cool. Mm -hmm. So, if you don't answer the, 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 the question, like you G, take a shot. Fucking known. <laughs> fucking scam. Ah, I got him. He got him. He don't want to answer the question. He got to take a shot. Simple as that. Because the less dials in a lot of the questions, though. Not really, but he is. So let's go. It's true. Like you G, you fucking known. <laughs> fucking scam me, dog. <laughs> <laughs> fucking scam me, dog. <laughs> okay, let's go. Talk to me. Yeah? All right, cool. Smash your pause. Nom zama mbata. Oh, for fuck's sakes. I mean, what do you think? <laughs> She's a fucking attractive looking female. <laughs> Oh, smash. I can't believe you got me doing that. Smashing, smashing. All right, good, good, good. good. You're good. Smashing, you're All smashing. All right, boy team. Are we smashing a person? Oh, uh, no, pass. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Why are we passing? I mean, this is obviously not... <laughs> hey, Patty. Hey, sad, though. 
But she just got a whole different type of energy about herself, though. Especially the picture they used, though, bro. <laughs> they put up the picture of Boki with looking like um the less shirt and shit, tied on. But hey, that's something niggas start don't get it twisted. But not me and the less. I can't believe you got me smashing, smashing. All right, good, good, good. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, boy team. Are we smashing a person? Oh, uh, no, I'll pass. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Just, what? Why are you passing? No, this, I mean, this is obviously not personal. Yeah. You know, I don't want this. But it's just, just not my, my, my cup of tea. Mm. I'll be completely honest. What is your type, bro? I don't know. I don't What is my type? <laughs> Gotti, Gotti said, Gotti said, super exotic. Don't get me wrong, man. I love it. Not it. Not it. Like, I love boy T, like, and she knows it for a fact. Like, we, we, like, would hang out plenty. Like, people used to like be like, yo, you and boy T are doing shit, but like, we never do shit. We would hang out plenty and just be as friends. And it's not because it's like got anything. It's just a normal thing. I don't even think she's attracted to me. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's like you can feel when you when you're attracted to somebody. Mm. I don't even think she's attracted to me. So I'm just pause. All right, cool. And then we've got Bonan. Oh, man. Pause. She's my sister, bro. Oh, for real? Yeah, like, she's a good... I can see why people do love her. Mm. She takes care of herself. She's very confident. Um, she works very hard. But, like, I don't... I don't. I really don't even see her like that. Like, I've known... You know, I've known, I've known Bonan for... I've known her for years. How did you I guys just, first meet? We, we met because she was actually dating a mutual friend of mine. Mm. And we were in high school or they were in high school her and, and I was dating her friend oh yeah, yeah and they were in high school mm. they were in Foy's High and then we were just out of school and we were just fucking about and like they and then they were upset with us because um we were dating we were dating other girls in their school as well yeah <laughs> but like in a different grade yeah yeah, yeah. it's just childish shit <laughs> so they were upset you know, then they came ah fuck you guys uh. but either way um from then um I think she also, I'm not sure if she was still in high school, but she had started her career. And we kind of started our careers at the same time. And um, it's just been such a wonderful journey. Like, we've been in the same kind of journey. Wow. Same path, just watching each other and just... Making me... Yeah, moves. and just helping each other. Yeah, and just helping each other out. And I've always just kind of just been so proud of her. <clears throat> and I'd, I'd tell her about these other dreams that I used to have of opening up. A, I wanted a lingerie line yeah, when I was young. Bro. called Too Fresh for That Ass. That's actually how I got Too Fresh for That Too Fresh for That Ass! <laughs> This is a bad podcast, dog. <laughs> Too fresh for that ass. Hold on, man. been so proud of her. And I'd, I'd tell her about these other dreams that I used to have of opening up. A, I wanted a lingerie line yeah, when I was young. Bro. called Too Fresh for that ass. That's actually how I got Too Fresh Less. <laughs> That's a good Too fresh less. <laughs> <laughs> This is a bad podcast, dog. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, you know, you know, I said, I said, I said, to, I said to Mac G, caution to the wind. Mac G's like this. That, bear in mind, that's the title of my album. My new album is dropping tomorrow. My album, right? He's like this. I just say too fresh for that ass. He goes, yeah. <laughs> what podcast is this? <laughs> I'm so confused. Is this a music podcast? Or is this, what is this? What is this? I should have fucking known that, G. <laughs> it's a scam. It's a scam. Okay, next question. Next question. <laughs> what the fuck? This is crazy, yeah? Hey, Max, right, slap. Next question, who is it? I um, this Sashi Naidu. Our leaf. What's Sashi Naidu? I'd smash. Yeah, yeah. She's super exotic. <laughs> <laughs> She's super exotic. I'm not gonna lie. She's super exotic, dude. She's she's, she's like got like she's just got a cool vibe going on, and she just turned number I don't know, but I won't say because you know you can never can't reveal a woman's age. But um, happy belated birthday, Sash. Also a friend of mine. But I won't lie. She takes care of this beautiful girl. I'd smash. But. Is it true you dated uh, Boltuzzi? Absolutely not. You oh, fucking both. kidding me? No, I never dated Pro Tools. Just because we went to Tropical Island Treasure. No, people want us to date. Like, no. No. But, but you got a, you got a hit. What's your body count right now? No. What <laughs> podcast is this? <laughs> For fuck's sake. What podcast is this? <laughs> What's your body count? I do not like this podcast. <laughs> No, dude. I don't like this shit, dog. No, but we're going to know I don't have a body count, bro. Ah. I've got a seven year old daughter. I've got a seven year old daughter who's going to watch this. Am I going to get no ballpark for your ballpark? Is someone going to get a ballpark for your ballpark? No. 
not. Hey, the less silly though, but hey, most artists and celebrity need to respond like this. When you have kids, you need to respond like this, knowing that people, your kids can grow up and watch this back for real, for real. I don't like this shit, Tom. <laughs> I don't have a body count, bro. I've got a seven-year-old daughter. I've got a seven-year-old daughter who's going to watch this. I'm not going to get in a ballpark for your ballpark. No, 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 no. I'll tell you how many women I've dated. Okay. I mind. Tell, tell me I've about it. it. Did you, did you see how quiet the room got? Wait, <laughs> I've dated eight women in my life. All right, give us the names. No, no, no. Why don't you the names? <laughs> no. Bonang? <laughs> no, Bonang. <laughs> no, no. I've never dated any anyone in the industry. No. I have great relationships with people in the industry. Um, it's, you know, it's it's the industry. But dog, but dog, alias. Listen, mm-hmm. you come from money. You 18, 20, you starting Josie, that's lit. Mm. No one's ever heard the sound. Girls are screaming at you. What shit are you doing? You fucking 21, bro. You don't know what's happening. Bro, you know what's so crazy? I have to be honest, and this is not a political answer. I just don't remember. Fuck. That's how hard it was. It was so hard. I sent it so hard. I don't remember. <laughs> I said, people be like, yo. <laughs> you sent it so hard, like, last year? I was like, what? <laughs> did huh? you, I don't even remember, dude. Did like, you ever dabble into drugs? Mm, a little bit of like, um, yeah, mushrooms. Mushrooms. Okay. Even though I said hallucinogenics at the beginning, mm. I, I was talking about acid. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, I dabbled into mushrooms, but nothing else now. But is that when you're young or like when you're older? Yeah, no, no, no. That was during the times, like, like um, back in the days, like during during those Josie days. Yeah. Yeah. But who yeah. comes up to Because you're fucking young, dog. You don't even know what the fuck this I shit know. is. I know. You just like... And the, and the thing is, the, when I had the mushrooms that time, I had it in the chocolate. So, fuck. I, I don't know. Maybe it was Gotti. I think Gotti was there. I think it was actually Gotti who gave me that shit. Yeah. Because <laughs> oh, he's a nigga from back then. I think it's yeah, bro. So, one thing also... So, one thing that also makes me happy... I love how he said it. He said, oh, he a nigga from back then, though. Like, bro... Like, me and my nigga, man, this is just crazy, man. Yeah, we so relatable, man. I love it, man. I'm just enjoying it. I think it was actually Gotti who gave me that show. Yeah. Because <laughs> oh, he's a nigga from back then. Like, got, yeah, bro. So one thing also, so one thing that also makes me happy and one thing that I love like to, to, to keep around me is to keep around people that have been with me from when everything started. Yeah. Because they have kind of a clear indication of like what my goals were before to what they are now. 100%. Um, they, they, they know what kind of, they give an indication of who's um, supposed to be around and who's not supposed to be around. And also, why wouldn't you want to be with a group of guys that you've like done everything together and then you can just like talk about back in the days? Do you know what I mean? What, what things happening in the state of hip hop right now in SA? What are the things that are happening? Yeah, what are things going on in the game? Like, I think there's mad growth, bro. I think there's mad opportunity. I think there is such a sick... Um, Who is the last person you listen to? I listen to myself, so... The last... <laughs> facts. Big facts. Who was I listening to? Pambo. I think I was listening to Pambo. Your artist? Yeah, he's not my artist. Mm-hmm. He's... Um, is he is an artist mm. who uh, you know who's part of the family, mm. and uh, the family which we 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 uh, you know become here in the FTD studios and we're making music together. Um, he's his own artist. He's doing his thing. Um, it's like if you look at what what's it called um, the Money Team. Yeah. If you look at them, if you look at Mayweather, he's got the gym. You know, this studio is the gym. Hey, y'all, y'all motherfuckers, better shut the fuck up, man. Y'all niggas getting too crazy. <laughs> yeah, see, that's the boss right there. Right. Hey, y'all niggas better shut the fuck up over there. <laughs> y'all niggas getting way too crazy. <laughs> Man, to play these games. I love the energy here. If you look at them, if you look at Mayweather, <sighs> he's got the gym. You know, this studio is the gym. You know what I'm hey, y'all, y'all motherfuckers better shut the fuck up, man. Y'all niggas getting too crazy. <laughs> yeah, see, that's the boss right there. Right. Hey, y'all niggas better shut the fuck up over there. <laughs> y'all niggas getting way too crazy. <laughs> Man, to play these games. <laughs> <laughs> that's the boss right there. <laughs> 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 
So, so, let so me, I look at it. Let me turn around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all motherfuckers, man, I even great. No. <laughs> no. What? That yeah. nigga slapped. He got this nigga up for slaps. I just, what was that? Like, you couldn't hear what Mac was saying. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> so so let so me, I look at it. Let me turn around. Yeah, yeah. Y'all motherfuckers, man, I even great. No, no, no. That's a different. No, man. Like, what's wrong with you? You have to hit your own vision. My version's like that. Your version's like. Yeah, we're not here. Nina man. Fully get full air, Nina man. Fuck. Let me turn around. Hey, hey, hey. Exactly. Fully get. You didn't take your shot, dog. I'm busy taking your shot. Hey, hey. No, this no, guy no, is no, a scammer. No. Ah, ah, ah. Dog, your new name is VBS. <laughs> oh, shit, my bad. Hey. Yeah, it's a joke. Come on, man. <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> Come on, dog. Let's go. We good. I'm finna die. Let's go. Let's go. Throw me them checks. To grandeur. Yeah, boy. Cheers. Yeah, so. Mm. What I was saying, Pamba. I listened to Pamba last. I listened to Gotti Gambino last. Um, I listened to, yeah, that's probably about it, man. I'm just loving the energy that happens here that comes in and out of my studio each and every single day, year, week, whatever you want to call it. Well, who don't you like? Your top five worst rappers in the country oh, right now. Oh, man, you put me in such a hot position. Because you know G, bro. Yeah, I'm OG. I have a right to say it. I didn't like that guy who fucking said he went gold in two minutes, dude. What was that guy's Who's name? Who's that? Fuck, I hate that. Huh? I find. I find, I find him. okay, I cool. didn't like him. So he's number five. All right, cool. Number four. Um, <clears throat> hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck are we drinking? <laughs> what? Shit. No. Yeah. Oh, well, you took... Oh, shit. Shit. Man, you are crazy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. Who? Okay. <sighs> oh, we've got who, else, who else was I was like, nah, bro, I just don't like this guy's music. I don't know, like... Like I said, you know, I listen to I listen to my own music so much that I never really get a chance to listen to it. I, where I feel people can do better in, you know, I let them know. Give me a top five. Yeah. Give me a top five. I can't find. It. Let me let me put it at the end of the show so I can think of it. I can't. You putting me in a weird position. Yeah. I didn't like. You know, the next thing I get killed, dog. But I didn't like the Guaito artist, dog. Of when. No, so the the five the, the the worst type of rappers that I hated, and I think that was the reason why I got into the in, into the industry, were like these the quite dope artists. Oh, I see. when I was coming in, I didn't, and I can't remember who they were. Like yeah. I just that was didn't. An old generation. Yeah, I didn't like them. I didn't like the fact that they were. But at the end of the day, they did have a vision, you know. But they the don't ones, come from the same life. I know, I know. That was me. That was the younger me. Yeah. That's the younger me just yeah, being stubborn. Yeah. Like, man, okay, fuck cool. these niggas. Mm. These niggas don't know how to be hip hop. This is what hip hop is. You know what I mean? Where actually it's come full circle. Where it's like they were actually just show, showcasing their identity and 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 telling their story. You know. So. And that's how you make a track, Elon Musk. Yeah, I do. I do. What I do. is happening behind Elon Musk? I'm so Elon glad we're Musk. talking about music. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Elon Musk. Yeah. Elon Musk went to Bryson High and let's start there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Elon Musk started, he went to Bryson High. Let's start there. Then he went to Boys, uh, uh, Victoria, Victoria Boys. Boys all time on that, Boys. Um, so I just felt that. Um, I just wanted to make a record that was literally out of here, you know, not even just out of here, like, yo, this shit is out of here, ballpark. Yo, out of here. No, not like that. I wanted to make a song that was like, out of this world, okay? You know, give what I'm saying, like, out of this world. And, um, and the only person I could relate to that had that same kind of innovation and, and thinking was Elon Musk. And he went to Bryson High, dog. It's like, whoa. Real North Calling. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Joking. And, um... <laughs> so, pivot. Him and the Lust went to the same high school? Now, that's crazy. Now, that's crazy. <laughs> and... How do... Yeah. I was going to say he grew up. He was born in America. But let's go. And, and during the time, and because of COVID, like, there was a lot of talks. I remember, like, on the streets, people were like... Actually, because even COVID hit the beginning of the year, and... Beginning of the year, I was like, ah, oh, no, you know, there was, I, I think, I, I remember this very clearly. Somebody said that 
last summer there wasn't a South African hip hop song present. I was like, damn. And, and just remember, I'm taking my break, you know? Oh. I'm chilling, I'm like, damn, I got heaters for days. So, like me heater being very days. conceited and very Leo thinking, I'm like, yeah, that's because I ain't in this motherfucker, man. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? I was yeah. like, yeah, that's what you get. <laughs> exactly. You see now? I took that break. Ain't nobody on there. <laughs> you see now? Exactly. So I'm thinking like that. And then I realize I'm like, fuck, actually, that's fucking crazy. And then more and more of the chats. I know so, the hip hop niggas. I know my uh, pianos never and never pianos. It's easy. Don't know, boy. You know what I mean? It's like, you know what I mean? Now it's like, ah, uh, now. Then I can see, like, hang on, there's like a, a, a rivalry happening oh. between I'm um, a piano. And hip hop like there was before with mm. hip hop and Kwaito. Okay, That's why I had yeah. that had that energy. Yeah. When in actual fact it's 2020. Yeah. Elon Musk is doing his face. Y'all niggas still talking about hip hop and I'm a piano. You know what I mean? My man just went to space. Yo. So my niggas just went to space. Nigga. <laughs> Yo. So in fact it's 2020. Yeah. Elon Musk is doing his face. Y'all niggas still talking about hip hop and I'm a piano. You know what I mean? My man just went to space. Yo. Listen, like, like, like I want to like, grab, uh, I want to give the mic. Uh, we got, like, get your head together. Who's this guy? This guy, just explain this guy. He's, no, your... Pepper, he's so fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> explain this guy. Who's Yo, this guy? everybody, man. <laughs> <laughs> Mac G is fucked up. Ah, fuck you. That's Pamba, okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. Pamba. Pamba. <laughs> okay, grab the mic and ask him whatever. Um, <laughs> you want to ask um, who? The LES. Oh, oh okay. LES, motherfucker. Okay, come on, Pepper. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Okay, I got you. Hey, he, he really got Max slapped. It's over for Mac. That's All right, cool. cool. This is a live TV show, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Let's go. Yeah. Ask yeah. him whatever you know, ask him. Yeah. As a yeah. mentor, or whatever. Yeah, okay. I like that. I like that. I like that. Okay. All right, uh, hang on, watch that. Let's, let's stand, 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 stand right here, stand right here. Yeah. Can you see him? Yeah, yeah. Is it cool? All right, cool. Yeah, can you guys see him? Go. All right, mm -hmm. cool. All right uh, as my mentor, um, Tommy, obviously, as challenges as an artist, I feel like we go through like a lot of things where we're in our head a lot, you know. <laughs> he said, Woo, he's stressing, he high, he drunk. He got to smoke a cigarette to balance this shit all the a week. So then just like you've been speaking about how you've been a positive person. Yeah. So like, tell me, as an artist, if you ever feel like things just ain't going the way you should, or you think they would have been going, what is it that you use to always recharge yourself and come back and say, you know what, I still got this shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I feel like a lot of times we... We lose belief in ourselves. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? And it's like a hole that you sink into. Mm. Um, and it's very hard to get out, especially on your own. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So I just want to know the mindset that you have when it comes to exactly. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So you never want to show the the, 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 the public yeah. public world that yo, yeah. I'm going through all these type of challenges. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? So my question basically is, what's the? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So what is the the mindset that you have whenever it comes to? Making a comeback in essence, you know yeah. what I'm saying? When it... Before the last answer, man, I just want to pivot in there. My mindset is, man, look at all your W's and all the things you've been through in life prior to that moment. Whenever you're down, whenever you're out, just look at how you overcome them moments. That's how you overcome certain moments, man. Because life don't do nothing repeat itself. So look at all your W's, man. Then the biggest one is look that you're still breathing. You know what I'm saying? So look at your worst thing you've been into and realize how God got you out of that. You still got light. You still breathe. You still got an opportunity to make a change. So that's what I do, man. I look back and reflect over a lot of my W's, a lot of my wins, man, and a lot of my losses. And I don't even call them losses. I call them learning lessons because I learned from them. I look back like, man, I remember I was in that hole. And I, I was in that type of hole and I dig myself out. Oh, this hole don't matter. It don't no matter what hole I get in, man, it doesn't matter. But that's how you build yourself up, man. That's how you get it. I don't know what the about to say. I'm very interested to say, but I mean, really interested to hear hear what he got to say. But I just wanted to pivot, y'all. My bad. Let's go. Challenges, yeah. But you know what I'm saying. So my question basically is, what's the? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So what is the the mindset that you have whenever it comes to making a comeback in essence? You know yeah. what I'm saying. Whenever you feel like. Shit down. Sure. Yeah. Okay, so let me tell you what 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 I've I've learned through my experiences and from what I've seen. I um, go through problems too. I I still go through problems today. I still feel some of those things that you were talking about, 
and 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 I and I try to handle it in the best way that I possibly can. But what I what I'm starting to realize as I get older, and watching from other people's experiences, I I, I dig into the really core center of what makes me happy. Uh-huh. What and what my man got the allergies he's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bamboo, yo, shout out. That's big though. What make you happy? Y'all know I say it all the time. How we gonna enjoy life without our joy? I suppose that man. How we gonna enjoy life without our joy? And you can't have no joy if you're not happy, y'all. So you gotta get to pinpoint. Gotta get back to the simple thing. The simple thing. What make you happy? I suppose that. My man got the allergies. He's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> get older. And watching from other people's experiences, I I, I dig into the really core center of what makes me happy. Uh-huh. What and what my man got the allergies, he's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> the bamboo, yo, shout out to bamboo. <laughs> yo, but but for real. What 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 makes me happy? You know, what actually makes me happy? And like I said earlier, you know, um being around my friends, you know, guys that I know that we've been through so much together. Something as simple as laughing, bro, it's like, it's so powerful. And then you think about what what made you fall in love with what you're doing. So what makes me happy at the moment and what's always made me happy is skateboarding. And I've been skateboarding a lot lately. Shout out to DJ Spice. Uh, uh, I saw you at his park. Yeah, yeah. I was having a Bel Air. Yeah. 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 Where's his park? Oh, it's over there. It's yeah. in, uh, it's in uh, Marlboro. Yeah, that's yeah. That's why you didn't check in, huh? <laughs> yeah, you smiling, you laughing. Two years ago, I got the podcast. <laughs> Let me just say this. So, Pembo, I want to finish Pembo. Pembo, I think what you need to do is put your heart and soul back into the music. You know, the music will always cushion you. It will always take everything that you have and just put it, your heart and soul into the music. And, and, and just think about nothing else but the music. And once you're done making the one song, make another one. Mm. When you're done making another song, make another one. When you're done making make another one. You understand? Because the music, bro, will always Bro, why are you doing this shit? You don't need to, bro. Do what? Make music? Yeah. Who says bro. I don't need to? Your prints are rich, bro. No. <laughs> why the fuck do you do this? <laughs> I'm finished. <laughs> no, it's an honest question, though. I don't live off my parents, bro. That's why I do it, because I'm a man, dog, you know? I stand on my own. I stand on my own. I am a parent, you know? Um, I, not to, not to, you know, it was back, back, you know, it was like, yo, you can't have, you know, being, having rich parents is like, oh my God, there's nothing wrong with having rich parents, you know? I've been fortunate, but I've chosen to live on my own and I stand on my own because I am a parent. Because so what happened is music. It's because I love making music. Yeah. Ooh, music is amazing, bro. We're here because of the music you used to play, Mac G. Mm. Quit mm. playing these games. We're hitting this fucking gin right now because of music. Quit playing these games. We're smoking our leaf right now because of music. Quit playing these games. I may need DCT. It's not because of music because my lips dry as shit. But music still got us fucked up. Yep. It's all about straight. It's all here. Straight the fuck up. It's all here. Yeah. So you can't, you can't, you can't neglect your passion. If it's soccer that puts you in a place of happiness, go back to what truly makes you happy. That's my message. Facts. And I appreciate that question, dog. Yo, hit, hit a horn over there. Oh yeah. He's a hit oh, the horn. slow with the horn. <laughs> <laughs> Watch the show get five million views. Watch. We should use that. Watch. Uh, Watch. Should, it should be your show, bro. Watch. Anyway. Okay. Next question. <laughs> no, you ask me a question. Okay, let me ask you a question. Ask All right. So, uh, Matt G, I want to find out for real why. Okay, tell me. So, like I said, I expect nothing less from you. But when did you decide that yo, I need to actually create a legacy for myself? It was when I had my son. Yeah. And I realized that life is not about me. Yeah. So everything I do now, like, I'm high as fuck. Mm. You know, I'm doing this thing. And people will ridicule me in the comments, you know? Yeah. But there's a bigger vision. I like that. They say I'm high as fuck. And people really go kill me in the comments. It's like, he slap, slap. 
But he had to let niggas know, man, I'm doing this shit for my motherfucking seeds. Simple as that. Man. You're not waking up every day doing this shit for your motherfucking seeds, your purpose, your joy. I don't know what you're doing it for. If you don't got no purpose and you got kids, that's your purpose. That's your why. Simple as that. Mm, you know, I'm doing this thing. And people will ridicule me in the comments, you know? Yeah. But there's a bigger vision. I Simple like that. that. It's my son, bro. Mm. Like, I don't come from a privileged background like mm. you do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 okay. you know, but whatever I got, I gotta yeah. hold to it. Yeah. You asked me outside, why did I start this podcast? Yeah. What did I say to you? Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I that's one of my questions. My question, my my thing was, I said to you, yo, um, are you still at the radio station? He said, no, I left the radio station two years ago. And I was like, oh, shit. Oh, so I'm saying you full-time on the podcast. Mm -hmm. And you said, yeah, I'm full-time on the podcast. Which, by the way, you know, I'm, you're not allowed to smoke in my studio, by the way. I, I can't even believe I've, oh, been, shit. I've been sitting here. Oh, yeah. And that's why I'm wondering why the crew is laughing so hard. Oh, yeah. At Double D. Hey, oh, this nigga yeah. smoking in the studio. Oh, shit. That is yeah. bad. It's only that's weed fine. allowed in yeah. here. Only weed is allowed in here. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. It's I okay. I'm going to let that go. I'm going to let that. It's okay. Yeah, I <laughs> just, just hit me now. Hey, hey, real shit. Hey, real shit. That's how you know. They brothers, he, he got respect for Mac G, but he probably the first one to smoke a cigarette inside the studio. Simple as that. He said, I wonder why the crew laughed this shit the whole time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's why I'm wondering why the crew's laughing so hard. Oh, yeah. At Double D. Hey, oh, this nigga yeah. smoking in the studio. Oh, shit. That is yeah. sad. It's so only weed fine. is allowed in here. Yeah. Yeah. Only weed is allowed in here. I'm sorry, sorry. That's okay. I'm going to let that go. I'm going to let that. It's okay. I apologize. Just, just hit me now. So, like I said, like I said, you know, I was like, yo, um, that's dope that, you know, you decided to go all in with the podcast and that you decided to um, forget about everything else. And then that's when you, you, you told me that. You know, since you had your kid and then they never renewed your contract at 947, you were like, yo. How did fatherhood change you? Fatherhood has changed me. What is going on outside? Who's, what is that? Uh, yo, it's, <laughs> oh God, he's lit. So fatherhood, fa how did fatherhood change me? Fatherhood changed my whole perspective on everything. You know, like you said, you know, you, you come from a, from a place where you're just thinking about yourself. You don't know what you're doing, how you're doing it, um, who you're doing it with, but you're just doing it. Whereas like when you become a father, you start to strategically plan your future uh, because you know, you know, somebody's dependent on you. So Max, that's, man. that's pretty much what it is. You know, it's as clear as it's black and white or as day as night. It's like, Simple, and that's that's the that's that. the, 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 the focus, um, and that's what happened to me. And then you got a daughter, right? Yeah. So when you think about all the stuff that you know you did during your prime time, mm -hmm. does it not make you feel like shit, man? Maybe I shouldn't have. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I don't like you. <laughs> I'm being honest, you know, because you're doing some crazy shit, dog. I don't live with regrets. Yeah. Let's just say that. Yeah. yeah. I want to ask you another question. Yeah. When I sat on this chair, I said, how long is this interview going to be? You yeah. said to me, oh, if it's a good interview, it's going to be an hour. If it's going to be, if it's a shit interview, it's going to be 30 minutes. Yeah. Tell me, who was your best interview? Who was your best interview? What's it called? The interviewee. Yeah. Who was your best interviewee? And who's your worst interviewee? Oh. Okay. The worst was uh, Kelly Kumano. Okay, why? The vibes were not the same, man. I mean, where did you shoot it? Uh, we shot it at uh, Cotton Lounge. You know Cotton Lounge? Oh, that's over here, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Shot there. KD Vibe was all? Best vibes. I tried it. it. Y'all let me know. That's not next, because we got a whole list to get to. But let me know what I need to get to that to see what type of energy she was having, man. Y'all should be seeing The Chef next. We got Knock Music and got a couple other requests that you guys been waiting on. But the list is long, but let me know. But I'm ready to see what he said. his favorite interview is, y'all. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. Shout there. Wasn't the best vibes. I it was raining. No, 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 it didn't rain. It didn't rain. So it was hot. Was she wearing black? Man. Nah, not even. Oh, man. It's just not going to be an interview. You can, yeah? I don't know. It sounds like you know shit that I don't no, know. No, I want to understand. Like, what? Because I'm thinking about what are the things that could have like put me on. Like, oh, it must have been raining. Mm. Raining. But do you know her? No, I don't. I mean, I mean, I do know her. But I mean, when you say know her, like, have we spent days together? No, no, nothing like that. So I mean, we're just industry acquaintances and we see yeah. each other. So that was the worst one. My best one was Scoop. 
Because <laughs> <laughs> you and Scoop are like crazy. Yeah, no, it was an <laughs> awesome body experience. Bro. It was, huh? Yeah, oh, did you guys take acid buy- on the show? I fucking knew it, fucker. <laughs> I knew it. You motherfuckers taking acid on the show. I can't believe you have all these subscribers. What show is this, though? Anyway, can I say Diddy? something? Diddy? Diddy, y'all, let me know, Diddy. I couldn't tell. Y'all let me know if y'all think he did or if he didn't or if he ever admit to it or not, man. Let's go. I'm ask you one question. Hmm. Can I end this interview by talking a little bit a little bit more about my album? Let's, let's, okay. Let's go. So this is what I want to do. This is what I want to say. Tomorrow, my my... Double D, what album is it? Six My sixth solo album. 13th. 13th album in totality. But we'll leave that. Sixth album comes out. It's called Caution to the Wind. It's such a masterpiece. It features Ishmael. It has... Um, I was about to say Mungani <laughs> Fasi. <laughs> it has Ishmael. It has Muggs. How amazing is Muggs? It has... Mugs. Oh. Nadia Nakai, of course, because I'm also fucked. AKA Parlemo, <laughs> Parlemo, Pambo, um, MT, Focalistic, Nelson Freitas, Gamon Pela, Jobe London, Zinga, uh, GT Beats, uh, Jay Wood on the Beats, uh, DJ D Double D. Um, and it's a project that is just, it's really uh, been such a blessing to be a part of. You know, I, I, this is wait, this is a project that, this is, you know, it's, it sounds weird, but this is a project that I was a part of. You know, usually it's my project and people become a part of my, mm. my journey. I'm actually a part of this journey and it's just led me in such great direction and it's just given me the best of times and maybe I've met the best of people and um, I'm really fortunate man you're right I actually am fortunate about the less yeah oh, what gee. do you be remembers, remembered as <laughs> <He's> the, <laughs> <laughs> the less what was you be as that nigga slap slap I actually am fortunate about the less yeah what do you be remembers, remembered as <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Hang on, I know what, I know what, I know what, I know what's gonna help us. An- another shot, the last shot, this is the last shot. No! I'm chasing the grand jury. No, no, no. Let's actually keep the grand jury over here, dog. This shit is hard, dog. I'm so proud of you, bro. Thank you, bro. You better not be fucking scamming me to the next thing next year. Grand jury, probably owned by Lewis Hamilton. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> What do you want to be remembered as? Yes. I want to be remembered as a legend, an icon, good father. I want to be remembered as a good human being, bro. Do you know? I try so hard. I try. I really try to be a good human being. I want to be remembered as somebody that's that like, I want to be remembered as somebody that can never be forgotten. Mm. I finished you there. Ah, I did. I destroyed you, dog. Hey, first thing first. They getting slap slap. The less mess with the uh, grand jury. He fuck with his drink, man. Like I want to try the way he's smacking them shots back. He like we gotta get this shit on the counter, man. Let's go. Let's get it, man. He said, "As somebody that can never be forgotten, never be forgotten." Mm. South I Africa, finished you there. legend. Let's I go. Mean, let's get it, man. That's a legend. I did. I destroyed you, legend. dog. Let's go, Take let's one last shot. I hope you're not driving, dog. Eh? Uh, he dude, cannot dog. drive. What a sad story, dog. Uh, what? Ah, that hurt my that hurt my heart. What story is this? Janimbi, dog. Oh, Janimbi. R.I.P. Alicia Adams. R.I.P. Luke Love's brother, dog. That story also fucking destroyed me, dog. Ah, oh, Luke Love, baby. I'm sorry, yo. Hey, let's not even talk about those dark times, but I just thought I'd just just send my condolences, dog. Yo. Respect. Hey dog, you've got some spiritual shit going on. I'm a spiritual person due to the come, Grand Joe, Bamboo. Good night. Thanks so much for this interview. No, no, let's talk I, about the spiritual. No, 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 no. I successfully got Matt G so fucked up. I hope we can run up all the views. I hope yo, I hope we get all our shit right. Oh, Ardy, yeah. Ranger, I'm Bamboo. I'm still standing. He thinks he's still standing. He's yeah. fucked up. He can't even say yeah. anything. And that's
I'm gonna end this interview. Thank Thanks you. so much for having me, y'all. Oh man. man. Let's go, let's get it. Episode 205, my boy Bless. Let's go, let's get it. Podcast and chill with Mac G all the way from the motherland to the motherfucking America. Let's go, let's get it, man. I really enjoy this one, man. He got this nigga slap slap. I'm gonna leave it right here. Let's go, let's get it, man. Let's go, let's get it. I enjoy this for sure. For sure. This is dope and unique, man. This lame, man. I appreciate the chillers, y'all allowing me to chill with y'all. I just appreciate this lane, man. Just getting to know more about you guys, artists. And I love how the OG just said, I'm going to stay over here and be a part of this shit. Never knew he was born over in America, man. So it's just dope, man. Just found us so much about, like, your artists. Our artists. Fuck our artists. You know what I'm saying? Because we've been doing the music and all that. But let's go and let's get it, man. I know y'all have not been wanting to hear the music video, but y'all do want to react to his full album. Because he's a GOAT. Let me know. Simple as that, man. I have nothing else to say because I know it's just the music videos got done, but just the full album. But hey, I have nothing else to say other than I really enjoy this podcast, man. Let's go and let's get it. Let's stop it one more time for this, man. I really enjoy it. Simple as that. I have nothing else to say other than if you watch this video to this point with your boy and you enjoy this reaction, hit that like button. If you're new, you're not part of the team, not part of the energy, not part of the family, what are you doing? What you doing? Hit that subscribe button just to click the support. If you're part of the team, keep a smile on your face. Stay prayed up. Keep your faith up. Get the comments down below. And all you guys, make sure you have a blessed day or blessed night. I'm, a, I'm up out of here, guys. Have a blessed one.